Hey there everybody, it is Leland the Realtor and today I wanna to talk about the realities of flipping a property. So the first thing we're gonna talk about is the hardest part about flipping property and that is finding the right opportunities and the right properties to flip. Contrary to belief, usually the construction end of the flip is the easier item to complete because there are so many available general contractors and a lot of good people to go and do the work for you. The hardest part is just finding the opportunity. And finding opportunity means that you need to put as many hooks out there as possible to be able to get off-market deals and on-market deals that make the most sense to you. So talk to lots of real estate brokers in this situation and that you'll have real estate brokers bird dogging for you bird dogging meaning looking for deals for you so that they can get a commission as well as constantly putting content out there to be able to find people who are in situations where they do need to wholesale their home now other options is buying data online and calling these people and following up with them and making them offers so that you can actively find these properties. Again, this is the most work. Many people are really happy to have 10 flips per year or 20 flips per year. And some people are happy with having three or four flips per year. So it's really important to have your marketing down to be able to find these deals and get as many opportunities as possible. Now, our second item is making sure that you are underwriting these deals. So you have found a deal, you think it's a great opportunity for you, what is the actual margin that you need to make that property make sense for you? Well, the first margin is of course the profit margin. You are going to want a substantial profit margin for yourself because you are going to be taking a significant amount of risk for flipping this property. So take for instance, you have a property where after you repair it and it's ready to go, it is worth $200,000 and you are confident that it is worth $200,000. Well, you are going to know that it's going to cost between fifteen dollars and $20,000 to sell that property. That is just an expense that you're going to have, and you're going to want to make sure you add that in. Then you're going to need to add in your profit margin. This is probably going to be between twenty dollars and $40,000, depending on the deal. So now you have a $200,000 home, and you subtract $15,000 from that, so you're at one hundred eighty five. dollars And say you want a high profit margin of $40,000 because it is a lot of rehabilitation and you need to make sure you have a great margin to work with. Well, now you're at $145,000 and say it's going to be $45,000 to rehab that property and complete it to get it ready for sale. Well, now you know that the most you can offer for that home in that situation is $100,000, but then you need to add in closing costs and holding costs as well. So closing costs being title fees, which often are the only fees you're going to pay whenever you are purchasing a rehab deal unless there is a realtor involved. So you're gonna pay about $3,000 in fees. So now you're at $97,000. And then how long is it gonna take you to rehab the property? So say it takes four months to rehab the property and it costs you $1,500 a month to hold on to that property. Well, that is four months of holding time plus a month of selling time because it's gonna take at least a month to sell the property plus on market time of probably an additional 30 days. So now you have this property for six months at $1,500 a month, so that's $9,000. So now your maximum offer is $88,000, assuming I remembered that correctly. So it's really important for you to understand all the expenses involved and how much you can actually offer on the property to make a profit. And this process is called underwriting. Be sure to use someone really experienced, be sure to use contractors, be sure to use realtors and everybody you can as a resource to make sure that you underwrite this deal appropriately, especially when you're first doing it. Now, our third item are the actual expectations of flipping a property. Many people think that they're going to make you know, $100,000 on their first deal or $20,000 on their first deal or $40,000 on their first deal. And generally speaking, most people make absolutely nothing on their first deal. Their first deal tends to be a learning experience more than anything. So be sure to underwrite your deals appropriately, find the right deals and pick the right people to do your rehab for you. In the end, having all the right people makes all the difference in the world and utilizing them will really help you be successful in flipping. So just to recap, your marketing is going to be your number one tool when finding opportunities. Your underwriting is going to protect you from losing any money and help you create a business. 
and people are going to be your most important resource when you are needing to flip a property. So I am Leland the Realtor, keeping real estate simple. Have a wonderful day.